We usually use the input image feature by selecting Pyrokini to generate an image in a specific pose like this. But what if you do not have the needed pose in your computer? Maybe you can find it on the internet. What if you don't get one? Doing some temporary changes in Focus application can get the exact pose you want. First, let's get the pose we want. I will search for an open pose generator. We got the open pose AI in the first result. Upon visiting this website, you should find a colorful skeleton for pose. We can get the pose we want from here. To have its full effect, I will keep the aspect ratio same to what Focus has, 512 pixels on both the sides. You can change the focal length like this, but the default settings are fine. There is an option to get random poses which saves time. To complete this first example, let's use this. I will make a pose later. This looks like a football player who is about to kick the ball. I just prefer to increase the thickness of the skeleton by clicking on the joints and increasing it to 1.5. This will be more visible to focus application. We need to click this play button to generate the image of the pose. Click the image to save the pose in your computer. In our focus application, let's upload the pose we got just now and select Pyrokini from advanced options. I will also change the aspect ratio of the image. One is to one should work better. Next I will write a prompt. A woman playing football and hit control, enter to generate an image. We got the image, but the human figure is missing. The process here is something like, we upload an image. Pyrokini starts detecting a pose. The pose is used further to generate a new image. The pre-process is where it starts working on pose. But I gave the pose directly. So this is the result. We also need to change the control net to get the best results. I will search for control net union which is capable to handle multiple input conditions made for SDXL. Thanks to Zinsir again for such resources. In the files and version section, you should find two files. I downloaded the first file by clicking this download icon. Copy the downloaded file. Go to Focus folder. Models and then the control net folder. Paste the control net here. We need to replace the old control net used by Focus with the new one we downloaded. I will rename the old control net by adding old as a prefix and copy its name. Then I will rename the new control net as the old one and paste the copied name. Now, Focus will use the new control net file when processing the Pyrokini. We need to skip the pre-process as well, because the input image is already a skeleton. Let's generate. The subject has the same pose as the skeleton, and the photo is from a nice angle. We can have complete control over the subject pose in this case. Slight changes in the image just from prompt is not possible, but changing the same in the skeleton makes it possible. Making a skeleton can be a bit time consuming. The changes I made do not look good. So it should be a realistic pose. I tried making a volleyball pose, remembered from an anime. Generating anime or comic characters with specific action can be done. Adding a character Laura should work as well. You can get some skeletons on the internet, with some common poses. Openposes.com has multiple poses which are commonly used in photos. It's a website sharing free resources. Consider donating if you can. Click on any of the image and the skeleton can be downloaded. I got this statue sitting on a chair using a skeleton from OpenPose website. It works well. As said, making a pose takes some time, but it works the way you want, and it also works within paint. Let me make this running pose. There is this multiple turning angle on every joint, which can be adjusted to make a pose. I will try to bring both the hands at the center, the way we run.
This was the first time I am making a pose like this. And looking at that leg, I felt some pain. The white part in hands and feet with red dots works as well, but it needs some specific code. It works in comfy UI. I also came across blogs mentioning control net for the face with accurate facial expressions. Maybe a comfy UI video should be made for that. So, I generated an image of a car on the road, and then used in paint with image input, you will see on the right in the debug options. It does work, but it was just an experiment, I don't think I will be using anything such. Let me know if this was helpful to anyone. I may not be able to upload frequent videos now, because I am learning to code a new focus like an application, and it's tough.